Hello there, I am Anvikram, and welcome to the continuation of my sightseeing tour through Salmon Run, in which instead of me absolutely tryharding and just hard carrying everything through the lowest ranks of Salmon Run, I just kind of chill and see what happens, see what my teammates are up to. This one is probably going to be interesting, because while it is an all Drizco random rotation, and Drizco weapons are overpowered. Um, every single one of them is unwieldy, except for like the Drizco Brella and the Drizco Blaster. Uh, anything can happen. I'm curious about how this would go. In general, I have some uh, other stuff to talk about as well. Uh, what the heck is going on with my upload schedule? I genuinely want to have a one video a week upload schedule, but everything so far has been, um, <sighs> so, I'm going to have to prioritize school. I'm going to do what I can in this regard. If I have the time to upload mental health notwithstanding, I am going to. And we're still doing that to the Maws. Okay, I'll chuck one bomb. Anyone else gonna do anything? Nope, you get killed by the fly fish. But yeah, I need time to myself off camera a lot, especially with how crazy a uh, senior year has been. I should be graduating in December if all goes well. But uh, it's yeah, kind of interesting. Okay, we're running a little bit low on time and this flyfish is still alive. Oh my goodness, I did not think about the gradient on this on high tide. People are just dropping like flies because of it, aren't they? And I'm not paying attention at all, so let's fix that. High tide right out of the gate. I get Grizzco Slosher. It's low tide. What direction do you people choose to go in? Cannon wave. Nope. Oh right, it does the goofy animation. They still haven't figured it out yet. I am not equipped to take out that boss. And the one other person who got down here was dead already or something like that. Uh, the basket's over here, buddy. What is the status report? You're still trying to shoot the Maz. Slots on me. Nope, still trying to shoot it. You aren't even using charged shots. Goodness gracious, I'm not paying attention to my teammates enough. I'm getting some amusing stuff here and there. But I need to do more and I get Grisco Charger. This is hilarious. In my normal playthrough of this rotation through Executive VP, I haven't gotten its Grisco Charger at all, even though it's like my favorite. And yet here we are in the thing where I am intentionally not going to be doing everything I possibly can to win. And I'm getting it like crazy. And <laughs> goodness gracious. How many Wow, this Moz is on a killing spree. There, you're welcome. Maws are dangerous. Pay attention to your feet. And I threw a bomb at it. I shouldn't have thrown a bomb at it. There's a fly fish. Is anyone going to chuck bombs at it? That's another thing too, is that it is not explained at all what the Drisco weapons actually do. Like sloshing machine? Drisco slosher? Nuts. Um, same for Splatana, pretty much. Though it has marginally less utility, and the Flyfish took out, what, two people? Okay, fine. It's wave three. Bruh. Okay, so my teammates seem to be dying a lot more. I'm not necessarily sure if they're getting better. But, wow. 32 eggs. That's like a normal executive VP wave. Not to be, like, super pretentious or anything like that. It just feels weird. I'm not used to it. Not used to it at all. 18 revives? 
Here we go, round two. Show me some funny stuff. I'd get the Drizco umbrella. Man, I know there's a tier list out there for the Drizco weapons. I just don't feel like the umbrella is all that strong. It has insane painting power, but its damage output is yeah. Multiple bosses. Okay. Ooh. Someone did something spicy. I actually used a charge shot. And someone died on the grating again. There seems to be some semblance of improvement. But then again, I'm seeing people let the Salmonids get really close to them. Actually, that was the Splatana, so I guess that's a free pass. The grating! Okay, so we got three over quota. I don't think I'm carrying too much. Not three, five. I can't think. Eight, oh, not five, four! Yes! Let's see, what is the plan? You killed it? Good. Something that my friend ended up pointing out to me is that the not basic session, where you can actually go in a testing room and figure out what bosses actually do, is kind of optional. Like, the game drops you into it. Hey, you got the bomb throw before I did. That's cool. What's the plan with the Maz? Okay, it's following me right now. But yeah, it just lets you skip the tutorial for the most part. The tutorial where... <gasps> he threw a bomb! Somebody threw a bomb! Oh my goodness. I am so happy. Just the kill count from that Maz. Right out of the gate. They were just... It, the, the council will decide your fate. <laughs> my immediate thoughts. I'm intentionally not playing super smart. Actually, I can just use that as a shield, sort of. Hey, uh... Oh, bl yep. It happened to me last time. Okay, double time. It doesn't look like we have nine. Two more. So long as nothing... What are these people doing? Hey, buddy. I, I don't understand. My man is just... I need to look at the results screen for this guy. Let's see... Actually, it wasn't the... No eggs. No... Eggs... At all. Hmm... Still, general way I'm approaching this is to have a different set of teammates every time. Because you never know what you're gonna get. Okay, different people. More... More banner variety. So these people seem to have played a bit more. What is the plan? Low tie, that is the plan. Does anyone pick up on it? I shall ping this way. Okay, we've got one. Got one. Anybody else? Nope. What is up next on the menu? We have a Maz. How do you deal with it? Currently they're ignoring it. A slash luring. They throw a bomb. Ah, oh, that feels good. That's sort of step one. The next step is, um... Boop. One bomb. The next step being uh, knowing how to take care of a drizzler the easy way. Okay, I see what you're going for. That, that even happens to me every once in a while if there's too much enemy ink. Or if somebody else triggers it. Alright, these people know what's up. Are you chucking a bomb? Nope, you're choosing to shoot it. You're still choosing to shoot it. You got way over quota this time. Am I doing too much? I, don't, I can't really gauge if I'm doing too much because of, um... 
It's a Gristra rotation, so it's supposed to kind of be easy. Okay, two people have got Slosher, one person has got Charger. Charger being, I have no ink efficiency, and Slosher being, you have no ink efficiency and no mobility, and we have Fog. Any audio cues? There's Steelhead over here. That's another thing I noticed, is that the aiming reticles for these things, for just Drizco weapons in general, act super weird. If you look at the uh, Drizco Slosher, the point where the crosshair hits is way, is much higher up than something like a shooter. It feels so abnormal. Okay, I'll take care of this. And I'm the only person taking care of it. Okay, there's somebody else. But I suppose for brevity, it's fine. And you died from something. That is not an ideal situation to kill a Goldie in. What are these people? I didn't even catch what that person died from. Yeah, it's difficult to one-cycle it just because of the way the damage wall app works. These people are dropping like flies. We only need two more. There, I'll do the smart thing. You're welcome. I know I'm being slow. I'm just in a slow mood today. Oh boy. And that is why I'm hesitant. I was hesitant in that scenario, because I saw it coming! Let me just blow you up, because I feel like it. Still cruising. I think that first game was the, was the real indicator. Okay, so yeah. Looking at how high the reticle is up on this thing, versus any normal shooter. It's so weird. Such a strong sense of we have a common goal. Bomb throw. Brilliant. This is getting better by the thing, but I soon eventually think that um, in terms of like managing bosses and that sort of stuff, uh, people will just get... The theory is that we'll get past the point of people just not knowing the mechanics of Salmon Run to the point of not really being able to handle things. In terms of, like, micromanaging stuff, killing lessers. Well, we have Quota. This one is a lot less eventful. It's putting in the maws. Oh, man. It's nice being kind of chill, though. Very relaxing. Salmon run. Relaxing. That feels so wrong. But here we are! People seem to be getting a bit more accustomed to specifically Maws. That was the thing that stood out to me the most. Um... Still very weird jank with Drisco weapons. I don't know what that player with the Splatana was doing, but um... Yeah. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more 8 Revives, please leave a like, comment, get subscribed. Thank you all for watching. I am Anvicom, and I will see you next time.